It's time now for a look at the latest in local sports and sports diversity basketball team. Boys basketball team in region play Tuesday night hosting BC. BC wins the contest by a score of 60 to 33. Once again, Benedictine and all boys schools said no varsity girls game last night, but both the girls and boys are back in action this weekend on Friday and Saturday, January 19th and 20th. Both games are on the road. Friday's the teams in action in region play at Southeast Bullock. And then on Saturday, non region action at McIntosh Academy. Teams come back home at the Benny Radliff Arena. That date is January 23rd, where they're host Burke County. Rec basketball scoreboard from last night in 8U boys, the Heat 6, the Bulls 2, Eagles 4, Warriors 2. In 12U boys, it was the Suns 19, the Mavericks 10. In 14U boys, the Celtics over the Bulls 38 34. College hoop coming up on Saturday, Georgia in a big SEC matchup against Kentucky. Reminder that the Wayne County High School football book was set for this Sunday afternoon at the High School Commons area. Public invited to join the festivities at 5 p.m. The team will be provided a meal before the banquet at 4 p.m. Public is invited to attend the awards banquet. Again, that will get underway at 5 p.m. at the high school cafeteria. That's this Sunday, January 21st. Tickets still available for the $10,000 Touchdown Club drawing sponsored by the Wayne County Touchdown Club. That date, Super Bowl Saturday night, February 10th at 6 p.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club. Entertainment that evening by the Dakota Duo, along with a finger food layout and a cash bar. Tickets still on sale, but going extremely fast. If you need a ticket, stop by Prime South Bank and see Katie. And they state there's less than 15 tickets available for this drawing. Drawing takes place Saturday, February 10th at 6 p.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club. Everyone invited to come out and enjoy the evening and see who wins the $10,000 prize. And can't win without a ticket, so once again, stop by Prime South Bank. See Katie this week. Tickets, again, going extremely fast. Atlanta Falcons still searching for its next head football coach, and owner Arthur Blank has been busy. He's already interviewed former New England head coach Bill Belichick earlier in the week, and on Tuesday he interviewed Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh, who's out inquiring about an NFL job as well. All the time still employed as Michigan's head football coach. Harbaugh coming off a national championship season. With the win over Washington, he did this last year as well, but decided to stay as Michigan's head coach. Once again, out entertaining offers, he once coached the 49ers to a Super Bowl appearance, but lost in that Super Bowl to his brother, who still coaches the Baltimore Ravens. Harbaugh has also talked with the LA Chargers about their job vacancy. Michigan has offered a contract extension worth millions of dollars, but Harbaugh has yet to sign that contract, or hasn't made up his mind. Most believe he's headed back to the NFL. The word out of Michigan is that he wants assurances from the NCAA that if he does return to Michigan, he will not face any punishment if he comes back. The school under investigation for sign stealing. Harbaugh says he knows nothing about that, but the person who does was fired from the school and not speaking. They state he's out looking for a book deal to make his money. Stay tuned for that story. Again, Bill Belichick is available. Harbaugh is available. Pete Carroll available. Mike Vrabel available. One coach apparently not available was Steelers head football coach Mike Tomlin. He told his players he will be back for his 18th season. He has one year left on his contract. Now the longest tenured coach in the NFL at one team after Bill Belichick was let go in New England. Tomlin has never had a losing season in 17 years of coaching. The Steelers are 0-5 in their last five playoff appearances and have not found a quarterback since, since Big Ben Roethlisberger retired. NFL playoffs set for the weekend. Saturday, the first game, 4.30 Houston Texans at the Baltimore Ravens. Saturday night game has the San Francisco 49ers hosting the Green Bay Packers. Then two more games on Sunday. The first game gets underway Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m. It's Tampa Bay at the Detroit Lions. And at 6.30 Sunday, it's the Kansas City Chiefs at Buffalo. Super Bowl Sunday again set for Sunday, February 11th. The Super Bowl this year is out in Las Vegas. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.